right, here we are with another pack opening video. Just got a Reflections 1 booster in the last one. We'll see what we get this time. A 15. That's going to be a low number. A New Hope. Okay. That's our first A New Hope since I redid the percentages. way down in the stack here. There we are. Love that purple they have here. Just a, a beautiful looking pack. These wrappers getting so brittle it's hard to open them without uh, without tearing the front. But I guess that's gonna happen when they're, goodness, 27 years old? Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. It's hard to believe the 90s were that long ago, but I guess everybody feels that way about whatever decade they grew up, grew up in at some point. Okay. So those are the uncommons, which means that our rare is a light side card, and it's upside down, which is interesting, so I'll put it right side up. I've seen that happen before, maybe in New Hope, maybe in something else, I'm not really sure. Okay, that's a nice common to start out with, being able to absorb some battle damage for you. These guys are cool, but... I don't know, I never really did anything with nighttime conditions. That's a fun card. I've won some games with that. Destroyer, and this, uh, there's a lot of Destroyer Dreads that are immune to this, so... I remember I uh, was able to isolate Chewie and battle him to death when a bunch of rebel heroes initiated against me. Okay. Mm -hmm. this, this card has ruined some, some friendships, I'm sure, over the years, being able to uh, th make your opponent throw away all their duplicates. Okay, we're back to those uncommons. And uh, James L, if you're watching, yes, I do smell the, I do smell the packs here, at the cards. It, it is, it is that new car, new uh, new card to smell. So you're right. A new hope is the best. Not gonna argue about that. Okay, I like this idea. Whenever somebody draws destiny, you do all these strange things. Um, it is kind of bummer that you have to lose this card as one of them, but. Other than that, I, I, I just like the idea. Okay, ooh, no. So, I mean, this card's cool. Very useful and sealed, especially. We got a weapon. Um, it could be a bowcaster, which is fine. It could be an SW4 Ion Cannon. I love Y-Wings, that'd be fine. Or it could be the Mahdi Seeker. And other than getting a maneuver check, getting a Seeker is the worst thing you can get. This is... A bowcaster. Okay, I couldn't. I couldn't really. I should have been able to tell that that was Wookie fur, but I couldn't really make up the fur there. So, it's a bowcaster. Nice. It's a rare too, but it's not a Mahdi Seeker. So, count that as a W. As soon as you see weapon, as far as I can recall, there's only three rare weapons for the light side. So, you dodge a bullet there. But uh, kind of a neat idea. I like how they did this with some of the weapons where the cost to deploy and fire is dependent on one of your character's um, attributes. So like lightsabers would be seven minus the character's ability. So if you had seven ability, the lightsaber, you could use it for free. Um, with ability seven, meaning you're a Jedi Master or a dark, dark Jedi Master, so that makes sense. Uh, here, these weapons are tough to handle as you're very strong, so it makes sense that Wookiees being more powerful are able to use these. And... It is interesting how X has to be at least one, so even if you have a Power 7 character, you don't get to fire it for free. But not bad text. Um, just kind of a cool card. And they made a Chewie's Bowcaster later, which is really good. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this New Hope video, New Hope Pack video. Not a bad pull to get with some interesting and decent commons and uncommons. So thanks for watching. Hope you tune in for future ones.